and three. Hey, your last name is Nardolijo. Nardolijo, Nardolijo, Nardolijo. Three, two, one. Cambio el intro hoy. No fuimos del podcast y nos vamos para el cine. Real. Le traemos a usted una película llamada Shine. Octubre Brilla. 5. Lit. Pero si la quiere ver temprano, en la noche, octubre 4. Facts. Director Anthony Nordolicho. Facts. <laughs> y tenemos una redactora aquí con nosotros. Señorita The Flora. Grisel Ponce. Soy coreógrafa de la película. Ooh, that's, una that's de las coreógrafas. Yes. Like y también it. tenemos nuestra productora aquí grabando. ¿no? Oh, ¿tú la productora. Aplausos para la productora. Nosotros estamos aquí en ese rato y tú no dices que ella es la productora. Eso es una falta de respeto. Ay, más nunca. Así es. Más nunca. So, hablen un poquito más de la película. ¿De qué se trata la película? ¿Cuál es el, um, el objetivo de la película? ¿Cuál es el main message? Eh, yeah, no, the climax, no. todo. So, uh, so, a couple of things. One, it's a very heavy music movie. We've got 17 songs from Fania, Big Pun, Beat Nuts, Mark Anthony, Romeo Santos, DJ Playero. This might bring them, you know. Ooh, it's a most. good mixture here. Yeah, I like yeah. this. And we just got announced on Billboard today. We have an original motion picture soundtrack. Literally, it went on like two hours ago on Billboard. Congratulations for that. Thank you. Aplausos, 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 aplausos. Make moves. But um, yeah, this se trata um, dos hermanos crecieron in the, raised in the hood of uh, Spanish Harlem, and they're they're on opposing ends of gentrification. They ex they experience tragedy at an early age. They separate. One goes to London. The other brother comes back, and one's pushing development. The other one's trying to prevent the development in El barrio. So, and using salsa and uh, salsa dance, street dance, and music as kind of like the the through line. Um, David Zayas, David Zayas plays the father, who's from the Bronx, you know, Puerto Rican from Dexter, who plays Bautista on uh, Dexter. Um, and, but the main core, what we want people to leave with is, and it couldn't come at a better time, is family, culture, and pride. Literally, it's like the, the, this, this, uh, the music connects us from the very first beat to the very last echo, and that's, that's meant to, uh, to be something uh, figuratively. <laughs> And literally, um, because as Latinos, the music connects us, right, from the from the cradle to the grave, and it's just about never forgetting where you come from. And I think it's it's more. It took us 10 years to get this movie made, but happening now with what's going on politically, it couldn't serve a better purpose. You know, um, just being very uh, serving as an inspirational torch for la for all Latinos. You know, it's a it's a New York Rican story. We have Dominican actors. It's so I call you know I call this an American story. You know, people forget that. You know, we're U.S. Latinos, we're Americans too, and that's that's what this is, you know. it's Yes, it's Latino, but it's American, It's an American story. And so, I want people for an hour and a half to suspend reality, forget where they are, and, and you know, um, listen to good music, original story, and leave touch, you know, and, 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 and fire it up. Because, you know, it's that, that's what I'm hoping the audience gets out of. Um, So, what's your contigo? Um, I know that you guys, um, this was uh, released in September. You're in 200 movie theaters, but uh, you had 400 that were um, about to confirm, but there was still none in New York. Yeah. What's so the update with that? And um, do you think the New York population has a certain responsibility with this movie? Yeah, no, that's a good question. So in September, we were at Urban World, which has just happened this past weekend. Um, we won the Audience Award. We're the first film in that festival's 18 years to sell out in 48 hours at the MC Empire. So we're now, we're in, you know, 230 theaters. We're pushing to 300. We wanted to be in 600. We're in 53 cities, and we're still not in one New York City theater yet. And this movie was filmed 100% in the body on the Bronx. It was made by New Yorkers. It was made with the New York Film Commission. And you know, yeah, I, I think that, and we have, we've been asking New Yorkers to kind of like, you know, beat your chest a little, you know, call your local theaters. We definitely should be in the AMC Bay Plaza, uh, College Point, Queens, um, AMC Bay Terrace, AMC Magic Johnson, you know. If there's any city that this movie belongs at, it, it's, it's here, I mean, it's about us. And I mean, you know, this city alone could support an incredible opening weekend. So we're gonna get there. It's not that it's not gonna play. It's just the frustration is it hasn't been confirmed yet because La Mega is supporting us. They want to start the campaign tomorrow doing ticket giveaways. 
Um, we do it. We're strong in Jersey. That's you know we're strong in Jersey. We're strong in Connecticut. Um, but yeah, you know, you know, call your general managers. Let them you know jams of movie theaters. Just pick up the phone you know and call. Um, we've had some city leaders too, some big leaders that have our back and that have made some phone calls today to to say hey you know what's going on. This is you've got more movies in Memphis, Tennessee, and Des Moines, Iowa than you do in in the Bronx. It just doesn't you know. And it's Hispanic Heritage Month. We are the only Latino movie. And all theaters for Hispanic heritage. It's like, and you know, and, and so, you know, it's it's not to go off on that tangent, but you know, we talk about Oscar so white. You know, Latinos are the last frontier. We still don't have our place in Hollywood. You know, and, and that's what I'm fighting my chest for. We're gonna we're gonna get that. This movie started as a Kickstarter film. We're the highest. We were the highest funded. We still may be Latino narrative for any crowdfunding platform. We raised 103k. We made this movie for three hundred thousand dollars, and we now are going up against like a crazy rich Asians. We're in theaters like everybody else doing it for nickels and dimes, but hey, that's, you know, that's what we do, right? And, and we just ask people to, to support. We're gonna be in New York, don't worry. I mean, I've lost my voice because I haven't slept. I'm on the phone, I'm on the street, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in it, you know, and Sanja's been out here with me too, and Grisel's been hustling out here, man. This is, that's why this movie is the way it is, is because it's, it started as my vision, but it's become everybody else's vision. And that's when something starts to take off. Great. So now, just to like recap everything that you said, um, how can somebody actually make a difference in getting this movie into New York? What are, what are, what are the steps that we can make? Because I know you said calling in a boat, you know, is there a specific number that we could call? Is there a specific website that we could go <clears throat> to request, listen, I want this movie in my local theater? Like, where do we go for that? You can do three things. You can go to shinethemovie.nyc and go to theaters and click theaters, and we have a demand it now button. Really quick, you put in your email and zip code and that's it. And we've gotten thousands that way. Also calling the mayor's office. If you Google and go to literally uh, uh, film, film office New York, Google mayor's, mayor's office, film office, they'll have a general number, you can call there and you'll get connected pretty quick. And then you can just call, every one of these theaters have an accessible GM. They're there like at the theater and you can easily call them and uh, you can go there in person. and. And tell them, yo, hey, I hear about this movie Shine that's like everywhere. Why, why isn't it playing here? And you know, those are those are definitely the three. I think the three steps that can be done. Definitely the easiest is, uh, or you could text "Time to Shine" one word to four eight four eight four eight. And pon la cámara. Esa es la que vamos a hacer. How do you say it again? Time to shine. One time, word. Time to shine all together. Yeah. Time to shine. And what's the number? Four eight four eight four eight. Four eight four eight four eight. Time to shine for 84848. 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 Oh yeah, time to shine for 84848. Now that we, you know, that we've people um, have asked you questions and seeing, you know, do you think this movie mm -hmm brings you back home like it's something that you feel like since you know you said like you said it was a vision you had it's just something that you felt like you could you've experienced in the past that like made you go okay this is what i want to incorporate in this movie this is what i want from this absolutely it was all built look i love salsa music i grew up smelling pine saw and dancing to Eddie palmetti as a, <laughs> as a baby you know it's just it's like nostalgic right i don't want to be you know, and then just growing up in, in New York, I'm from Brooklyn, but I moved around a lot, but I would always come back. Um, and then I was very intimate with Spanish Harlem, just being a fan of salsa. And so there were little elements from each journey of my life, like when Ray Barreto died, that inspired the backstory of the father. I love brother, you know, I don't have a brother, but I love my best friends and they're like brothers. I don't think we explore enough that relationship in film, you know, brotherhood in a masculine way, right? It's okay to love, you know, man to man. Um, and then music, yeah, so, and then gentrification. Yo, it's crazy what's going on. When we were shooting the movie, East Harlem Cafe on 106 and Lex, we went back to do pickup shots and it was gone six months later. Michelle Cruz, the owner, she gave us, I mean, we worked, and that was like, that was a cornerstone of the body. I mean, that's one of, thank God we shot the interior. It's a beautiful, it's the corner in the trailer when Josie goes, this change is for us, is to remove us. That's in the cafe. I went to go back to do an establishing shot and it was gone. When you see in the trailer and he's looking in the park and it fades from like the kids playing to a nice new park, that's because that's what really happened in the course of a year when we went back to reshoot. It's no joke. And everybody's experiencing you, Brooklyn, Bronx, East LA, Humboldt Park. 
So that's a real issue. <clears throat> and and when you watch the movie, the dialogue, the gentrification is that core theme. It it, it just wasn't put in to just be like some surfacey topic. 